Okay, I'll just say we're here at the Gator Cutler Show, and uh, we're here with um, Mark, and he's going to talk a little bit about uh, Stiletto. Well, this first one is a 13-inch square button Latama. It's a very rare knife. It's probably one of six or seven in the world. But often said, this is the best example of the square button, 13-inch Latama. Very. 67 in the world, that's great. Yeah. This is the only one known in the world. It's a Latama prototype square button with a shield safety. You can't push it down with that on. They won't open now. That's a beautiful knife. Can you, can you talk a little bit about the value of some of these? And then this is your conventional old Latama flat guard. The guards are flat. Very beautiful knife. Probably a 1948. This is 48, or this is probably 1950. This is probably 1951. This is a 40s, late 40s. 48, 49, Latama started in 1948. This is one of the best examples of a flat guard pick lock. The standard push button. Still works great. Oh, they all do. That's a monstrosity there, huh? Can we talk a little bit about these? Yeah. Stag Picklock, 1950s, with the Romo stamp, with the arrow through it. Very cool stamp. 13-inch Stag Picklock from the 50s. These are all Italian and all Latama? No, no, not Latama. This is a Romo. That's Latama down there. Another thick stag from the 50s, 13 inch. Inox on the tang simply means stainless in Italian. The maker's stamp in this case is CIZ. That's Coltier Zappas. You should get a pretty model to hold it. Yeah. I never knew that just just now. I thought Enox was a company. <laughs> I've been seeing Enox for I don't know, how many years? Enox in Italian means stainless. Yeah. You didn't hear me yell your name? Learn something every day. And then another old flat guard. Remember the flat guards now. They're the flat guards other than the Latama, but other flat guards are close to 100 years old. This knife is right at 100 years old, as are the other flat guards, like this one. They were made in the late 19-teens and early 20s. That's really old. Yeah. Very unique. flat guards. Close to a hundred year old knife. All original. So the flat guards are generally the older style. Right. Uh-huh. Right. Here's a Ethan, what they call Ethan 1953. The stamp Ethan is actually 
made by Latama. The founder of Latama was Sam Polk, and a friend of Sam Polk's wanted him to make some knives for his nephew, who was named Ethan. And in 1953, they made some knives. This one, the handle material is called shell wrap. You'll notice there's no pins in the handle. It's a shell wrap. Very, very unique. This is a 1950s knife. So the collectible ones are generally the 1950s, right? Yes, and earlier. But if you want any more information about these or, or other knives, feel free to contact Glory Blades. Okay. Mark at 859-221-0201. Terrific. Um, I was just curious. Now, the newer knives with the swivel guard. Swivel bolster. Swivel bolster. Some of those are well made though, aren't they? They're what? Some are, are well made and are collectible. Oh, I imagine some people collect them. Um, uh, they're, they're okay. The, the 50s and earlier are handmade knives. I the see. The swivel bolsters tend to be production knives. Okay. So, so the, you talk about a switchblade collector, they're generally, generally interested in the pre-1960. Correct. Correct. Just about exclusively. So I, I'm familiar with that era, but there's another era around 1900 then. Well. The 1918 to 1920s, um, they made the flat guards. Actually, up until the 19, well, there was a lapse with the war there, both wars, World War One and World War Two. So, but they, like, uh, they, they, you do have some really old, like in the 1850s or something, right? This particular knife is an 1870s knife. It's not Italian, it's a Belgian stag. Um, very unique knife. One of the most unique knives you'll ever see. You can see the coining, the foul work on the liners, the, the aged caramelized stag, the foul work or coining as they call it on the back liners. The mechanism here is highly unique. So that's from Italy though? No, this is uh, Belgian. Belgian, no kidding. Belgian stag. Clip point blade, they call this blade. A clip it's a real point. antique, huh? Very much. There you go. Mark, really appreciate it. Thank you very much.